So I just got off the roof of this camper and here's what I've been doing for the last week. I found out we had a water leak. So we decided we'd go up, I'd go up there and check out to see if there were any, see how the seals were doing. Found out there are some bad spots. Some lungs split right there. Uh-oh. So I did some research on the internet and I found that uh, Eternabond is a real good tape to use for a sealant. If, you know, it's an alternative to the, uh, to the, uh, the caulk or the putty or the, 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 the liquid sealant, the, the self-leveling stuff. So I did, uh, I ran, ran around town. I could not find any Eternabond tape. Everybody was sold out. So I went to another RV store and I got some seal type. So I did the research on seal type and it looked like there was a pretty good alternative to Eternabond. Oh, by the way, Eternabond nor seal type are sponsored. So, um, last week I went over to, uh, we took the camper over to our son's house. He's got a covered area and we were thinking it'd be easier to work under some shade. So I put the uh, seal tight in the back and I did some, did some sections and at first it was okay, but, but, uh, because the weather was bad, we went ahead and brought the camper home and I finished it up here and the seal tight is very difficult to work with. So difficult, I decided to stop and order some some Eternabon. So the Eternabon took a few days to get in and then I climbed back up on the camper today and I went ahead and, and finished up. Hey folks, it's Mike with Retro RV Recon. Today I'm going to do some maintenance on the camper. I'm going to replace the vinyl inset. I'm going to clean where the, uh, the sealant is on the top of the camper and I'm going to apply some of this seal tight sealant tape to some of the spots on the camper. The premium vinyl insert replacing it all around the camper. I'm going to use this denatured alcohol. I'm going to spray it. I'm going to spray it on the towel and I'm going to wipe off the dirt and the, the road grime on the top of the camper where I'm going to put the seal tight tape. That's what I'm going to do. So part of the maintenance we do on the camper is to this vinyl inset right here. After a while, it'll get dried up and it'll start to split. And when you're going down the road, it'll start flapping around and look like hair, like it'll look like gray <laughs> hair, hair blowing in the wind. Yeah. So um, I found this is probably the easiest maintenance I can do. Uh, it just comes right out like this. Oh wow! Okay. Either that, or when it gets you know ripped and, and it's split, it's flapping all over the place. I don't know what in the world is going on. So I got this stuff from the home of the camping place. Okay. A hundred feet for this camper is way more than enough. I'll have excess when I'm done. So pull this out. And I'm going to change these out because on top, I need to, I'm going to reseal a few things. And I don't want this in my way. But at the top, it gets real rough and brittle and it starts to split. Anyway, you don't want it to look, you know, you want to keep it at least up to date. This is real easy to do. This is about 50 bucks for a hundred feet. See how easy this comes out? comes out even easier when it's split. Of course, it comes out and it flies around on the road. Yeah. But it is it is another way you can't for sealed from the weather, yeah, right? All these screw holes right here. Yeah. And which you, I guess you could do like I'm doing right now. Just make sure they're tight. Make sure they're snug. But anyway, uh, it goes in. It's a little time consuming putting this back in. It's not difficult. It's just time consuming. Mm -hmm. But it's a good maintenance thing you can do. It's real easy. It takes about, I don't know, this camper here would take me about a, a couple of hours to do the whole thing. So this is one of the things I was talking about. This piece right here, you see how it comes off? And the, the, uh, the sealant is behind this. And I want to take all this old stuff off and I'm going to reseal this old section right here. I'm going to peel this junk off, like that, but you can see, I need to fix all this up so that I can reseal it. I don't think that that, I don't think that that would be creating any leaks in the camper, but you know, it's definitely not good. This is what it looks like now. I'm going to start in the back and work my way toward the front. Look, you can see on the other end how that's, that sealant that uh that vinyl has been just inching down and it's split all right 
Give me a few minutes and I'll be ready to show you what it looks like when it's cleaned up. All right, that noise you hear is the air conditioner. So here's what I'm gonna do. I gotta remove this. See that? Flips down underneath there. And I'm gonna trim some of this excess sealant off of there with the razor knife. So anyway, wish me luck, It'll take a second. All right, so I pulled that insert out of here and I trimmed some of the existing um, sealant away. I'm gonna put my new insert in and I'm gonna put the seal tight tape. I'm gonna lap it here on the back side first and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put it on the front side. I've only got this width. So you can see I can't really cover the whole thing with this four inch roll. First I'm gonna get the denatured alcohol. I'm gonna spray it on here. I'm gonna wipe all this off and I'm gonna get the whole bottom of this thing first. I'm gonna go to the other side and clean that little section up the same way I same way I did right here. Then I'm gonna wipe all that down and I'm gonna come back with my seal tight strip on the back side first. And when I'm done, I'm gonna clean this side and I'm gonna run it across again. You can see I've got a couple of obstacles that I'm gonna have to cut around or uh, deal with. You can see right here, the stuff is real brittle. It's flaking off. It splits. Water can get up in this track. Get up in these little spots right here. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to trim all of this up and clean it up real good. And I'm going to put me some new vinyl on side of here and then start getting ready to seal it up. Alright, so here it is cleaned up. I cut away the big fat junk part. I pulled out the old raggedy vinyl. I went ahead and sprayed some denatured alcohol and rubbed it down. I can see there's a pit right here. Maybe a hole. So I'm going to clean the rest of this up all the way down. And I'm going to run that tape on the back side of the camper. I'm going to come after that and run it again on the front side so it'll lap over. Alright, so this is all cleaned up now. So I'm going to take the new vinyl. I'm going to stick it in here like this. Bear with me while I work with one hand. And it works the whole way down, just like that. Works the, works the whole way down, just like that. That matters how you put this in. You can see there's a, a right and a wrong way to put it. Make sure your, your little edges are flipped up when you start to do it. It's pretty easy to just slide in there. It's easier with two hands. You see one of them, or you can't see, holding a camera with the other one. But anyway, I'm going to work that all the way down. You see I got it pre-cut. And then I'll do the other side the same way. When I'm done, I'm going to come and trim this piece off. I'm going to come lay that tape over here all the way to this lip so any runoff will go off the camper and not get pocketed all right hang on all right so i got it cleaned up i got the new vinyl installed trimmed it up that's the tape and i'm going to line it up right about there on the back side and then once I get this section down, I'm going to come put this other tape right about like that. And that way it will overlap the back section. So I've already cleaned the whole section down, all the way down, with some denatured alcohol. And I'm about to start right there. So let me set the camera up. And remember... I'm not an RV expert, I just play one on YouTube. Try to get the sticky part. I turn off the camera before I start cussing. Getting that separated. 
Man, you talk about making you. Well, it's tough. Not really easy way to do this. Here we go. Some sticky stuff, baby. Yep. Sure does. going down. Let me set up the camera. My lovely assistant. Hey, afraid baby. of heights. Yes, afraid of heights. <laughs> On a ladder. And I'm gonna set the camera down. Say an ounce mm -hmm. of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Yeah. <laughs> we got a pound of cure going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sticky, too. Alright. I'm not going to drop it all the way down. I'm just going to put it right about there. Is that awkward for you? Because I can do it from here. Yeah. The star um, cut. Right there. As straight across as you can. We do want to tell our audience to keep little bits like this, right? Yep. In case we need to use it on a pin hut somewhere. That's right. I pay attention. Most of the time. There. All right, that's the back part. Well, you know, there's a sign right by the handle of the door that tells you it's supposed to, check to be the roof done all the time. every 90 days. We want to show that to our viewers right here. Okay. There's a song.
Oh, phone food. Yeah, that. I don't know the lyrics. It's uh, not coming as far down as the other one. Yeah, yeah, I was just looking to see if it would cover that little piece right there. Yeah. Yeah, that'll reach. I think I can do this one um, without a second set of hands. Oh, I didn't know you were doing it right there. Yeah, right here. Put it all the way to that seam that matches the other side. Am I matching the other side? Yeah. And we have to be really careful because this is the part that's facing the wind, right? So we want to make yeah. sure the seals are all in the back so the wind won't blow it up. But honestly, after using it, we know the wind's not going to blow it up. Not blowing <laughs> we can't even hardly get our fingers off of it. Yeah. Sit down, work out the bubbles. And you see how he went over the top lip. <laughs> so there's one here, one here, and that's it. This other piece that comes around the back, I'm going to run it over here all the way to this section, or maybe even over that. Yeah, over the so same. It'll look nice. Well, I doubt anybody will be up here <laughs> inspecting, but. You never know. Somebody might come up here and go, Bonnie, you did a grabby job, Bonnie. Well, we care more about whether it works or not than we do what it looks like, right? Yeah. We don't have to be anal about how this looks. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. I don't have to be anal about how this looks. Right. So I had the bottle, and I just had a little bit of contents, and I just dumped it out and filled it up with denatured alcohol. And I'm using denatured alcohol to clean the surface of everything around here. Like so. Clean in the sealant and clean so the tape this will stick. And yeah, I'm cleaning the uh, the old sealant and I'm cleaning around it. Okay. To get the grime. Because the tape through. is gonna go on this part. Yeah. Okay. So that when we put the tape on it has a nice clean surface to stick to. Gotcha. Alright, so this is the seal type, the back of the camper. It looks like it's sticking pretty good. It's been on there for about a week. Put it around the um, refrigerator vent. Show you the front. I'm not as pleased with the front. It was a hot, humid summer in southeast Louisiana when I put this on. It was a really hot day. Peeling off that outer layer was really, really tough. I was so frustrated with it. I was going to actually video some of it while I was doing it, but I needed to focus more on what I was doing. So because of the, uh, because a turnabond wasn't available at the local store, we used seal tight and it was, it's about a four or five day delivery time for the turnabond. So I went ahead and thought, well, let me use the seal tight. Well, I regret doing that. At least so far, I regret doing that. So I ordered the turnabond and I'm going to finish up the little spots you see right there and around uh, this antenna. in the front. I'm going to put turn them on. Alright, so uh, let me get started and I'll show y'all what that looks like in a minute. Alright, here's my first strip of turn them on. Let me tell you what. Peeling the paper off was easier than the seal tight. Peeling this stuff right here off was so much easier. I think I'm, I'm not, you know, I have, I've only used one little strip, so I think that that one little strip is a good tail. So anyway, I'm gonna press down. I got a couple of high spots right here. Huh. Looks like it's fitting on there real good. Looks like it's, it, it conforms better than the uh, seal tight as well. All right, give me a minute and I'll finish it up. All right, so I got the back on. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out, measure, and cut the front. This is so much easier than that seal tight. Oh my gosh.
I've watched somebody do this on YouTube and it works. You wrinkle it and it comes right off. I forgot who it was I watched. If you're watching this, kudos to you. There we go. I start pressing it hard with my thumb, which was another hint that I got from another um, another individual putting it on. Press it with your thumb. Thumb works so much better than a roller, I believe. Man, this I can't believe how much easier it is to put this tape on over that steel type. Man. If I could rip all that stuff off and root and, and put Eternal Blonde back on, I would, but you imagine a mess that would make? Right. I just messed up. <laughs> Some of you are watching. You saw, you saw what I did. I should have put the side on first. And then the front. Well, it's a good thing you can overlay Eternabond on itself. So that's what I'm gonna have to do here to fix this. More so for the wind. You know, when the wind is steady beating on this, I, I guess it I guess it, it matters enough to me that the wind rolls over the top smoothly. I mean, I do drive. I do drive at about 65, 70 miles an hour. Try that trick again. Ain't no man. Look at that. I sure did struggle on that other one. And I mean struggle. Man, this is so nice. Oh my gosh. I ought to peel all that other stuff up right there and, and roll it back up and take it back to that world of camping. All right, I should have done this. I should have been on this roof a year ago, double checking things. And the whole reason I'm doing this is because I think we had a leak in the back. And, um, after a little bit of research, I, I heard, I read, and I watched that this was a really good solution to prevent, to stop and prevent future leaks. And the uh, the Eternabon, I believe, is right about it's a 15 year guarantee on Eternabon. I love it now. Look at this. Yeah. I'm going to find that fella. I'm going to comment on his channel just for this. You guys can um, leave comments too if you have any questions about what I'm doing or tell me about your experience doing your camper with this stuff. That would be nice. We got to stick together. We got to form an eternal bond. These sound like dad jokes. <laughs> I am a dad. Well, I won't have enough to do the backside. Darn it, I knew I should have ordered more. I ordered it off Amazon. I ordered 20 feet. It took uh, two days to get here, so I'm gonna order another batch of it. Might just go ahead and order more than I need so that I'll have it available if I have a problem.
while I'm up here, we decided to try some new equipment out. If you see on the top of my hat, I have a little microphone. And um, I hope it sounds better. If a few of your folks wouldn't mind, just, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comments if this microphone's better. I know sometimes uh, when we go camping, we don't want to interrupt the birds or the crickets. But there are some other wildlife at campgrounds that we don't want you to hear. So get up here on your camper. We have a 189R and I, I don't remember where I read, but you can get on the roof. Clearly I'm on the roof right now and, and, and I, you know, I wouldn't jump, but anyway, uh, our camper stays outside. We don't have a cover for it yet. So just, just be diligent. Get up here and look around, just check it out. Do a little bit of maintenance and uh, then you won't have to worry about this. I'll do a follow-up video in 90 days from now because I should have been doing a, a, an inspection every 90 days. So 90 days from now, I'll come back up here. I'll look at everything. I'll get a little bit of footage or I'll just, I'll get a little bit of footage and I'll, I'll make comments. I'll let y'all know how the, the, the seal type does compared to the Eternabon. All right, well, let me pick up my mess up here and I'm gonna get down there and wrap it up. So long story short, Order the Eternabond if you can't find any in stock. Don't don't settle for anything less. Order the Eternabond and wait. If you have to wait a week, wait a week because it's going to be worth the wait. It's going to save you a lot of sanity. The, the difference was night and day on the application, how it went down, how much smoother it laid out. It didn't have the wrinkles. I don't believe the seal tight is going to leak, but I'll tell you what, it was a whole lot easier to install than the seal tight. The Eternabond was easier. So that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, everything that I used here that, that, that I showed you that you've seen, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to that down below. We're doing all this because we have another awesome campground we're gonna do this coming weekend. And I'm not gonna say anything about where we're going, but I'm bringing my fishing pole this time. I'm gonna bring my fly line. I'm gonna bring some beetle spins. And anyway, we're gonna have fun. Look for that video coming out. So if you find value in this, in this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if uh, you want to get more of these kind of videos, and of course our camping videos where we do the campground drive through, the site walk around and such, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get that as soon as we're upload, it's uploaded. So thanks for watching the channel. We really appreciate it. And uh, happy trails, happy camping. I use tape to cut it. You use tape to cut it? Yeah, because it was in the video. You use tape to cut it? I use tape to I use I use Mago. Where are you, Mago? What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I hope they're getting that on camera. What? Oh, the tongue. What is it about men who I've seen it on so many home improvement shows? Men? I don't know. Why do men do that? It's like you gotta bite your tongue in order for something to work right. It oh, helps no. with your concentration. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> women just don't do that. But you know what women do that's weird? I know women probably aren't watching this video, but you know what women do that's weird? Tell when me. they put on a mascara, they have to open their mouth. They do that thing, yeah. Ugh. No, you don't say anything. You just do it silently, but your mouth is wide open. It's crazy. True, yeah, there's no purpose. Especially in. while driving on the interstate. <laughs> in the morning on the way to work. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that the most there. Well, you won't get it all there. No. Because there's a migrant rat. <laughs> hey, folks, it's Mike and Angel with Retro RV Recon. Good morning. We're coming to you today from this beautiful backyard. That's right. That's right. It's about maybe five or ten minutes from Hammond, Louisiana. And if you'll raise a little bit, you can see them. Oh well, yeah, and you we can see the some, chickens back there. We have Check some, uh, our fan club oh, joined us. Yeah, they're back there <laughs> checking the place out. Yeah, <laughs> just clucking around. So we're gonna time. give you. We're gonna give you the yard walk around. <laughs> the campground drive through. Yep, Let's the just site. practice. The campground drive through. During the campground drive through, we're gonna share with you some of the things that we've done and our stay in the area. That's right, and then we're gonna do the site walk around. And we do this for every, every campground, campground, every, every site, every, every time. time. Here we go. Cool. 
Wait, wait, don't touch the button. When the catfish is ready to bite